Oh my goodness, you guys. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> this is literally me screaming in excitement or with excitement because I miss you guys so much. Oh my god. Frafri, we're back with the same craziness, okay? We're back with the same motherhood, toddler, same lifestyle. It's a new year, same old shit. I'm not even gonna lie, same old stuff. Um, but I just wanted to start off the weekly vlog. I just wanted to say hi, hello, happy new year. You're welcome. I'm excited. Ooh, I'm excited to see you guys. Oh, let me breathe because I feel like I haven't seen you guys in like what forever, and it's been only two weeks into the new year. Hey, Frafri, as you guys can obviously tell, nothing has changed, it's the same old craziness going on having little humans they will test you <laughs> but it's a new year happy new year happy 2024 from me to you and yours from my family to you and your family you guys are welcome to another year i'm excited to have you and i'm excited to be back on the vlogs i'm not gonna lie because whoops like i missed you guys okay yeah my girls i chat with you we tell you all the tea the whole nine yards you know what we're doing okay um but whew, i haven't had i haven't vlogged in a while so i might be a little rusty over the next few days but that should be fine because that's that's one thing with vlogging the more you're doing it the more you get comfortable you know the more you know what to say <laughs> and what to do <laughs> so that's how it's gonna be but today is monday it's a holiday um, hi, hi, you miss mommy on the camera? Yes, mommy is back with the girls. Say, mommy is back with the girls. Mommy is back with the girls. You guys say hi, say hello. Oh, 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 we are back. We are back. Say, we are back. We are back. We are back. Oh, baby. Big, 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 big. Say we are back. Mm? Oh my god. No. Okay, so it's Monday today, you guys. It's the 15th of January. It's actually Martin Luther King Day. I think so. I think that's what it is. Because it's a holiday and I didn't have to go to work. I know that it's something. I think it's that, you know. Because it's not a holiday for everybody. It's just a holiday for some company. So, um, I'm home today. I am just... Whew, goodness, let me breathe. <laughs> we're all just home today hubby myself the family everybody's home um i am going to be taking down a christmas tree with you guys because you know i have to take it down and then also every christmas decor that we have in the house it's time for it to go i already swapped out the one that i had here so we're gonna do that and then later in the evening we'll do some cooking it's just gonna be like a spend a day type of vlog because i you know i just want to intro the year and then i can actually vlog vlog so this is gonna be like a, a quick but sweet type of vlog with my baby doing what she always does which you guys are used to by now yeah yeah that, that's just my child she is a pumpkin child <laughs> and i'm trying to i'm trying to like you know so that's one of the things that I'm doing this year. I'm being a stern mom, okay? I pump it here. And so this year I'm gonna be stern, okay? The two fingers will be working. And I'm. <laughs> if you mis misbehave, misbehave. <laughs> anyway, you guys. <laughs> uh -huh. So we're gonna be taking down the Christmas tree and all the Christmas decor that we have. And then we're also cooking a little later and then we'll just catch up, you know do some goals for the new year i'm not gonna lie i'm late on my goals i haven't even done like a vision board or anything so i don't know how the day will go i don't know if it'll be a day or two vlog and it, trust me ignore my baby crying she's just crying to be a big baby it makes she nothing literally nothing okay <laughs> take it from me but we'll just spend the day together and catch up and yeah so let's get into the day and um let me not talk too much right now. Let's just let's go to work, okay? You guys, oh, the lightning is bad. Goodness, that's bad. Let me put you here. Yeah, I think that's a little better. Um, but you guys already know my living room lights is not the best. Mommy, 
Oh god, I, I just went outside. Mm. I just went outside and it's not so cold, if I'm being completely honest. I know it's cold, it's 26 degrees. Um, so it's cold, but it's not like crazy cold because the sun is still out. And just those few seconds that I went out to pick this from the car, like, goodness. <sighs> like, I hate being outside when it's cold. I'm just trying to tie my thingy. <laughs> ah. Anyway, so I got this, yeah. this stuff. This is really big, right? Yeah. Yep. Mommy, my name for it. I got this to pack up the Christmas tree, just so I can save the Christmas tree. I think that I still have my Christmas tree from last year. <laughs> But the way I packed it up, I wasn't able to like revive it. You know, it's all the way in the back, like it's stuffed in the back um, of our storage room. So I want to pack this one up like really well so that I can reuse it next year. Even if I buy a bigger one, I can put this in like a different space. So let's go ahead and pack up the Christmas tree. That's literally all I'm about to do right now. And then clean up my living room. This place is looking a hot mess express. But I have come to terms with, fact, with the fact that you know, I can only do so much because with this child, this place is always going to be messy. Like when I'm cleaning, she's taking it off. Like I'm in the process of cleaning and she's taking it off. So I've just come to terms with the fact that that's the life <laughs> when you have a toddler up until she's grown and she understands that, you know, mess is not nice. I can't do anything about it. So um, I will clean as and when I can because I like a tidy space. So I would always clean. But yeah. Let's just get into, you know, sort of resetting for the new year. This is like a quick little reset for the new year, okay? Christmas tree is gone and the board is back to its position I will show you guys later but currently what I'm about to do I'm also doing laundry so if you hear anything in the background it's the laundry I'm just chilling out here for a little because I feel very exhausted I'm not even gonna lie I was legit dozing off like a second ago so I came to like lay out here I'm just gonna chill I also want to write down some goals for 2024 I told you guys that will do that um obviously goals are personal so i'm just gonna write down my goals and possibly go over some of them with you i had to toss that 
Um, but just possibly go over some of those goals with you, I know. She know that I wanna be good for you. She know that I wanna be good for you, I do. But sometimes someone was bad for me. Sometimes someone was bad, oh can't you see? I'm just being weak. I think you know that I care for you I think you know that I care for you, I do But sometimes I can't be there for me Sometimes I can't be there, baby, can't you see That I'm just being me I ordered some pizza, you guys I ordered some pizza because I was craving that <laughs> So we're just gonna have um, some vegetarian pizza. Let's have that while I finish my vision board. Mm, sometimes we just colliding and we keep on fighting, but we'll be okay because we got unconditional love. Sometimes we just cry. Okay, guys, so I managed to. Oh, I'm sorry. But that pizza was good. Let me just say that. The pizza was good. But I finally managed to write down some goals um, and also do a vision board. I actually didn't think I was going to do a vision board. I mean, I sort of knew that I wanted to, but I didn't think I was going to come around to doing it today. But I did. Um, so a few of the goals. Um, this book is really good. This is the book that Jack's got for me. Jackie, she got this book for me last year, November and so i kept that because it was a 2024 book but for whatever reason they've they've done it really well the yearly goals they've like you know separated it into health mental work finances and all of that stuff so i have it broken down into these different categories in life i have um you know my fitness goals and then i have my health goals one um my mental goals one thing that i want to do um for my mental goals is do monthly check-ins which i feel like will be really cute okay i just want to like check in with myself every month once every month just you know check in with myself see how i'm doing mentally if i feel okay you know as a mom as a wife just in all aspects of my life so that's something that i'm looking forward to doing this year and it's also new so i guess that's why it's exciting um but I also have meditation Mondays. I used to do meditation just as and when I felt like doing it. But now I want to dedicate Mondays to just meditation and prayers and just like chill and, you know, journaling, stuff like that. I really do want to do a lot more of that this year. So not just this year, going forward, you know. And then um, I have my social media um, career goals. And then I also have my financial goals, which is key this year because I want to be on top of my finances. I don't want to be, I want to be a wealthy girl and not a broke girl, okay? We're getting out of broke mindset and moving into healthy, wealthy, rich mindset. And I love that. Mommy, you want to set some goals for yourself? You want to set some goals? So that's pretty much everything. Um, I mean, yeah, and then continuing goals from last year, honestly. Just goals that I have from last year. But my vision board, though, I'm very excited about my vision board. I showed you guys. It looks really beautiful. What? Like, shout outs to Canva for giving us templates every day. Because this template right here is just... This template right here is beautiful. Let me just say that. So on here... Um, my key things are balance. I do want to have a lot of balance this year because it can be crazy running around with the type of lifestyle that I have built for myself. I'm not going to lie. It's crazy. Um, you know, I like to feel accomplished in every aspect of my life. You know, so I have fitness goals that when I'm not meeting, I am stressed. I have motherhood goals that when I'm not meeting, I'm stressed. I have relationship goals because obviously, even though my husband and I were parents, we still are fostering that relationship that we have as a couple. So I have those. I have, you know, homemaker goals. I have work goals. So I have a lot of things that I've built for myself, which I honestly don't have a problem with that. I like to be structured. I like to have a routine. I like to have some sort of vision that I'm going by. 
and so i don't like to be idle that's just who i am and i know i've said it a lot of times and i'll say it every time that i get the chance to say it because that's just what it is but with that being said if you're not careful you can be so like swamped in trying to i am such an overachiever let me just say that and it can be it can be go 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 i'm not gonna lie 2023 for me was like go 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 i had no rest days i wouldn't have any days where i'll just like lay here in the living room and just chill for like a few hours but i feel like no that's not the way to go i was always tired last year and i was always saying it i was always having back pains and i don't want to do that this year i don't want to feel that way this year i want to make sure that you know i'm refueling when i need to and just making sure that i'm recharging and becoming the best self that i can just so that i can present myself in the way that i need to present myself you know so this year my one of my key things is balance a girl needs to have balance and then um, continued consistency on my social media platforms i feel like 2023 i said it i put myself out there on social media a lot and i understood how i want to position myself thank you to 2023 it showed me exactly how i want to show myself out here on these streets and just how i want to be myself because it can be crazy in these like content creation world if you're not like careful you just be like you know swallowed into some lifestyle that you don't want to be living i'm not even lying so i definitely do want to present a lot more of me on these platforms for you guys so that's key and then also be consistent while i'm at it um one thing that i've come to understand is because this is a career path that i'm taking you want to see it as a business and just like a business imagine if your favorite business would just up and not show up and not give you reasons why they're not showing up they're not communicating with you you know the product is not quality like you know like i'm seeing myself as a business right now as a product basically if it makes sense uh, but yeah i want to be able to carry myself in a way that i know that i'm doing things right and not just being mediocre about the social media thingy that i'm doing no i don't want to do that so um and yeah my fitness goals i have some hair goals i do want to you know grow my hair a lot more i'll put a photo i'll put the my vision board here it's just a vision board so um but and i have like a few other beautiful stuff here so it's cute i like that i'm excited that i did this i wanted to print it out but i just realized that my printer has no ink for whatever reason <laughs> So, um, I can't print it out right now. I might have to go and print it out in CVS, but that's not today. It's already 5.30. I just had the pizza. I'm so full. I'm not going to lie. I wanted to make some muscles with you guys. That's so why maybe we'll make that in, um, you know, the next vlog, which is going to be the weekly vlog. I do want to, like, you know, finish all of this vlog today. So, vision board is done it's out of the way christmas tree is done pretty much all the christmas decor is gone i was honestly tired of seeing christmas pieces everywhere like it's gone done um i have some frames that i have to put up maybe i'll do that later with you guys but for right now i want to go into the kitchen it's a mess i have to you know wash some dishes and put it back together because tomorrow we're going back to work so i'll just do that finish up you know the things that i have to do around the house and then we're done and then i can finally start of the week feeling like you know reset and everything but yeah vision board is done hi princess Satisfying you while I keep bleeding I don't know why you act like you need no sense You wanna take a piece of my heart again I get it all, cause I just don't want you Something in your eyes, the way you stay me that I like I wanna let you go, but it's like Okay guys, so I just got out of the shower I managed to clean literally pretty much the whole house because I only had to do, I did the living room earlier with you guys um, and then I did the kitchen and then I did the hallway 
and I finished laundry. I'm just here to fold the things. The things are still in the dryer, I'm not gonna lie. So that part is yet to be done. But the house is clean. That's that was my biggest thing. The house is clean, Christmas decor is gone. That box or that's I don't know what that's called, the container. I got it from Family Dollar, if you're wondering, from Family Dollar. It is so big. I got it for like $14. And it, it literally took everything. When I tell you everything, the Christmas carpet, literally everything. Everything is gone um, into it and it fits perfectly fine. So I'm just gonna stuff that away for next Christmas and yeah, I'm tired, okay? It's good that I got that pizza also because it really helped. I didn't have to make dinner for tonight. Everybody is full, so we're just gonna go to bed. I had to feed him from a pa. I made some jollof fries earlier today, so I had to feed her some of that because she didn't have the pizza, obviously, so she had the jollof fries and she's fine. Um, but right now I'm about to do my nighttime skincare. I already washed my face. I'm just about to apply some product. And I wanted to talk to you guys about my ins and outs for 2024. Let me just put on my lip balm. I just wanted to quickly share my ins and outs for 2024. And I'm sure if if you're on social media, you're probably seeing this on Instagram, on TikTok, you know, just basically things that we're letting in this year and things that we're letting out this year, okay? I'm excited for that. I wrote a few things down on my notepad. So I'm just gonna just gonna share that with you guys while doing my skincare. And um, you know, hopefully that inspires you to also like Put, put up a list for yourself. What is your non-negotiables for this year? What are the things that you're going to, you know, you want to allow into your space and what are the things that you don't want to have? That's what I'm talking about, okay? My very first in is definitely fitness. I want to keep up with my fitness journey. I am so proud of myself. Let me just say that. I have done amazing, okay? I've done amazing when it comes to building a fitness lifestyle for myself. It's a complete lifestyle and that's exactly the goal. That was the goal. And now that goal has been achieved. I have it as a lifestyle. If I don't work out one day out of the week, it feels not normal i'm not even gonna lie it feels like okay <laughs> so you're not gonna work out the whole week so at least throughout the week i have to at least work out twice or three times you know i can't go throughout the week without working out i have to do some sort of fitness or movement so i'm really excited for that and i want to continue into the new year and you know into my forever life <laughs> so um fitness is definitely one of my biggest ins for this year so i'm gonna do one in one out one in one out and then you know just so that it's it's balancing out and my very first out is procrastination oh my god this year when i tell you that i want to stand on business i'm not even kidding i am standing on business in every aspect of my life and procrastination sometimes is you know when they say it's a thief of time like i say it every time and it's so funny when i say it it takes me back to like being a child procrastination is a thief of time because you know, they say it every time, which is so true. And when you grow up, you come to realize that it is actually so true. Procrastination will steal your time. And, you know, so you want to, that's one thing that I want to be out this year. I don't want to procrastinate. When I have something that I have to do, I'm going to do it and get it out of the way. Okay, so anything that I have to do, I'm going to do that. And... My next in, my second in is rest days and talking about rest days. Let me just, let me just bring this thing out. You guys remember this thing that I got last year that I opened one time. That's one time that I opened it. That's the only time. Okay. I haven't used it again. <laughs> like when I tell you I haven't used it again, it's still fresh. It's been sitting in my bathroom the whole time this literally is sitting here like a princess and not doing anything so this year we're using this stuff it's the self-care bucket list so this will really help me with the rest days that i want to you know work on because again as a mom 
and you know as an overachiever <laughs> sometimes you could be going 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 and you don't have any time to breathe or relax the only time you get to relax is when you're literally going to bed which is not what i'm talking about when i say rest days i mean literal rest days when i'm not doing crazy stuff obviously as a mother i would always be a mom there's no rest days with that but um like creating content and you know just not doing too much in a day you know i'll have a day where i'm not cleaning i'm not doing anything it could be a day where i'm not even cooking i'll order some food you know so i am prioritizing rest days this year and that's key for me because I feel like growing, the more I'm growing, the more I'm thinking of, you know, how I want the future to be for me. And I don't think that I want to be tired every day in the future. No, I want to be relaxed, at peace, but also be able to control the things around me efficiently, if, if it makes sense. So, yes, so rest days is definitely one big thing on my list this year. Okay, it's big on my list. <laughs> my next out is unhealthy eating habits i definitely do want to make sure that you know i'm being careful and talking about eating habits coming into this new year or i think from last i think the end of december it wasn't the end of december it was this year just going into this new year netflix had released a series on um you know food talking about you know the food that we eat but mostly talking about the animal food that we eat so the meat and you know the chicken and all of those stuff and just generally how they are um you know the process they go through in this country and it wasn't so appealing to watch let me just say that it wasn't something that my husband and i we enjoyed watching it, it, um it's crazy we didn't like it at all like when you see the process that meats in this country goes through or just this new or modern day um, meat farmers what they're doing it's not healthy and um, obviously there's a lot of things uh, a lot of movies or documentaries on things like this but the, this particular one that I watch on Netflix for whatever reason it hit me differently <laughs> it did it hit me differently my husband and I um, like we were in, we were in all the whole time. We're like, what? Huh? F the fuck? For real? Like we just kept saying all the terms because it just didn't look right. But that was literally the truth. You know, this was research. This was a documentary. So it was real people talking about real stuff. And so my husband and I decided to go very easy on um the meat and the chicken and all of that stuff so i'm not gonna lie starting the starting of january up until now when i say i haven't really had chicken not even really i haven't had chicken okay the pizza that you guys saw me have today it was vegetarian pizza i know that the crust might not entirely be vegetarian but when i ordered i said that i want a vegetarian pizza and i know that in this country what they do with vegetarian pizza is that the topping will just be veggies and that's what they call vegetarian pizza um but we are trying or like you know we're doing everything within our power to reduce our meat consumption you know pork chicken because we used to eat all of that pork ribs like you guys know me i used to make everything but ever since then i've only had shrimp i've only had clams i've only had fish all of us my husband is allergic to shrimp so he doesn't have that so he has only had fish and he's actually really good he is actually very very good okay i'm the one that ordered that pizza because i'm like you know i'm still coming to terms with the fact that so vegetarians don't eat pizza <laughs> I'm still coming to the terms of the fact that they don't eat pizza, they don't eat eggs, you know, things like that. I feel like I still don't know how to stop. But I haven't had chicken since the beginning of January. I haven't had pork. I haven't had meat. So, yeah, <laughs> that's literally what it is. I don't know how long I can carry on doing that. But what I can say is that I don't miss eating chicken. I'm not craving chicken right now i feel like shrimp and the clams i'm just generally very explorative when it comes to my food i would explore different dishes from different cultures i'm that type of person i don't mind so i feel like it's actually an exciting time for me to try out a lot more foods and you know just generally 
spice it up in the kitchen because I love to cook and you know that so this is just time for me to do stuff but I'm not gonna lie I don't think I can become full-on vegetarian I haven't decided that yet so I'm still hanging in there I just know that I'm not eating meat and chicken for the foreseeable future so that's just all I can say um, but healthy eating habits is definitely key one big thing on my list and that's pretty much everything that I have here right now but I think I will add more stuff you can also share some of your ins and your outs with me so that you know I can just add some onto my list because I'm actually looking to add some onto this list um, but you guys that's everything for today let me put on my ring um, but thank you so much for watching today's video I just want to say that I mean, you're welcome. You're welcome to the new year. I already did that intro. You're welcome to 2024. This is a short and sweet vlog, like I said. This is just a vlog to intro the new year and then sort of like also intro me into the vloggy space because if I'm being completely honest, I, you know, like being away for a few days and then coming back on, you're like, oh, even though you feel like a pro, you're like, okay, let me get my foot in the water and then make sure that I'm like ready to go. So that's just what I'm doing. I'm making sure that I'm ready for the next few days and the next few months and this entire year with you guys because it will be beautiful. And yeah, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so that you're one of the first people to know because sometimes YouTube will not be telling you, but I'd be putting out a lot of videos. So be sure to have that notification bell turned on so that when I put out a video, you're the first to know. And follow me on Instagram if you haven't already done that, okay? It's going to be an exciting year. And I love you guys, okay? I love you. I will see you guys in the next vlog, which is literally starting tomorrow, so... Good night and see you. Bye. <laughs> when they say she get it from her mama, I'ma say you fuck her right. Your body mood is bumping like I'm be in the hall, but come tell me is you down? Cause I'm tryna go good tonight. Hoping you slept right. I just wanna put it in.